Like how? Like this? Ah! All right, everybody. I'm about to welcome a very talented and beautiful woman to the stage. She has this Saturday, just this past Saturday, performed at the Chemo Theater. <laughs> Fuck yeah, at the Southwest Funny Festival. And she is performing this weekend at the Austin Ladies Are Funny Festival. Everybody, Sarah Kennedy! Oh, oh my goodness. Let's all just settle down. My goodness. I am. Um, ooh, you, I look just like Buddy Holly tonight. And my girlfriend Sarah looks just like Mary Tyler Moore. Oh man, you guys, I am, I am so happy to be here at Low Spirits. How are you guys doing? Fantastic. I had a really, really rough weekend. Uh, I forgot to pay my internet bill. And my phone died. And this has really been the first time I've been out of the house in days. And I really hope nothing important happened on the news. Soon. Um, this is the ladies of Anarch Comedy. It's fantastic. There's all, there all kinds of ladies. All kinds of ladies in the audience. Are there ladies who like ladies in the audience? I'm a, I'm a lady who likes ladies, if you couldn't tell by my haircut. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, the thing about being a gay is I don't even really like to say I'm a gay. I like to say that I'm a member of the LGBT community. It's a little bit more inclusive and it sounds like a delicious sandwich. Think about, it'd be like lettuce, guacamole, bacon, transgendered. It's pretty good. Uh, there's a Q at the end of that too, it's LGBTQ. And that's even better, that's a lettuce, guacamole, bacon, transgendered quesadilla. <laughs> that keeps the joke local. This is what I'm all about. So I'm lettuce, and uh, I, <laughs> I have a very special piece of lettuce in my life. And I was so nervous, you guys, about introducing her to my other lettuce friends because we have a really strict hose before hose rule. Just, just confusing. Uh, <laughs> the first date I went on with this piece of lettuce, we actually went to the spa, and I had never been to the spa before. And, and there is a level of nakedness at the spa I was not ready for it. Just to give you guys an idea, like this is what I wear swimming. <laughs> I just have like old timey, like stripies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what I showed up to the spa. Then I realized that I was just so panicked the whole time I was at the spa being like, no, no, I don't want to see you. <laughs> that I realized that that's why people are so relaxed when they leave the spa. It's because the whole time they're there, they're just stressed out. <laughs> Real life's not so bad. Um, I have uh, a lettuce friend, and uh, she is saving up her money to get top surgery. And if you guys don't know what top surgery is, this is the removal of boobs so that you have the presentation of a gentleman's chest. I know, removal, what? I don't wanna take mine off, no way, keeping them. I'm keeping them. Not, see, here's the deal. This is a lesbian who's transgendered, but still identifies as a lesbian. And I'm like, cut the tampon strings already. It's like, so she wants this top surgery and I, don't, I, I can't ever see myself wanting that, ever, in my entire life. I'm not cutting off my boobs. Unless maybe they're stuck under a rock for 127 hours. And it's like, take them. Uh, my friend Danielle, she's such a nag. She's always telling me I need to eat organic food. And uh, she goes on about like grass-fed cows and free-range chickens because regular meat cows are kept in these terrible conditions where they can't move around very much and then they get the other cows sick, and then we eat them. 
And I know I brought down the mood and that this sounds so tragic, but it does seem worse to eat the happy cows. So they're just like out in the field, like, look at all this grass, you guys. We are never going to finish all this grass, you guys. They never will. (laughs) So it's my job to eat the sad cows. It's the way I've seen it, always. Uh, I have a lot of, a lot of my lettuce friends are vegans. That's ridiculous. (laughs) Makes them terrible cooks, to be honest. Um... I had like a black, a vegan black forest cake the other day and it was disgusting. There's like real pieces of black forest in it and shit. Get it out of here. Uh, I'm talking about food because I'm starving. I'm so hungry. It's times when I'm this hungry that I wish Jesus was around. Cause that guy always had food, you know? You guys know that miracle where, like, he feeds the whole crowd of people with just, like, a loaf of bread and a fish? Crazy. Do you guys believe it really happened? We get some, there's, we got some, yeah, I think, I think this crowd is a firm maybe, because there's some no's and some yeses. I'm also a maybe. Yeah. So, uh, the thing about that is, I think, yes, back then, sure, Jesus could do it. Nowadays, No. Because if Jesus walked up to a huge group of people now with a loaf of bread and a fish, somebody in that crowd would be like, um, Jesus, is there gluten in that bread? Because I don't eat gluten. Low spirits. Man, this bar is effing awesome. It's so great. I love this place. I almost cursed. Um... (laughs) I live right fucking down the street. And um, (laughs) it's pretty, it's awesome. I live downtown. Uh, The only thing not awesome about living downtown is there's a lot of the homeless. And the the thing about the homeless, and I'm talking about them like they're the homeless. Homeless people, they're people. People of homelessness. That's the the correct terminology. Um, They they ask me for money so often and I, I... I, at this point, I like have to ignore them and I don't even make eye contact. And that, again, reminds me of Jesus because there's that story in the Bible where he's telling the disciples, you know that homeless person you ignored? That was me. <laughs> so then I have all this guilt. But I'm sorry. After like the eighth time of homeless Jesus calling me an ugly whore because I don't carry cash, <laughs> I have to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> 